Oh, well, welcome to Tights TV. Match after thoughts. Uh, got the bearded type on Ryan. Ryan, I saw you at game and all at half time. Like, uh, team lineup to start off with against Wigan. Uh, a change. Dodgson got recalled back by Burnley, and yeah. the cart came came back into the fold. But looking on paper, the the starting eleven pretty decent, pretty strong. Uh, kind of Ryan. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, but you know. I, I don't know how to make it much stronger other than maybe putting Styles in for Cadden, but there's no there's no in it, I don't mm. think, between them two. I think I know both people still like, said about slightly different things, mate. Yeah, Cadden's a lot better at taking, you know, taking defenders on, although I don't think Nicky's been in best form mm. uh, yeah. of, of late. But other than that, no, I think it were, you know, McCart's obviously going to come in, he is a centre back, so he should he should have come in at that position. Mm. Uh, as long as long, you know, as long as his groin injury is better than, than there's no reason why he won't come in for Dodgson anyway, even if Dodgson hadn't been recalled. So I were happy with lineup, to be fair. Even when Williams playing his centre back role again. But well, back, well you know, no, we all can say that, but we'll touch on that. That ain't going to change so. it anytime soon. No. I, I, I'm surprised <laughs> I if we get a centre back in that he didn't take my car out. He, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know see. what I mean? But yeah, other, yeah. Other than that, yeah, the, the, the glaring obvious thing that's just never going to go away. Um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with lineup. Yeah, we'll touch on that as we go on. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, get starting to the game. To be fair, in the first day, if, <sighs> didn't think very much in it, if I'm being honest. Uh, Uffed and puffed. I don't think Wigan really offered much. Uh, it was one of them kind of games where it was a bit of a slow build-up, whether it was after effects on piece per game. But having said that with a tone, <clears throat> that pressing intensity, it won't like what we've seen against uh, Peterborough. And at Port Bell, yeah. uh, Ryan again back yeah, at home. There, there were no press. Based. There were no press whatsoever, Neil. Um, mm. And I think a lot of that were down to our Wigan set up. They were sat very, very deep and just slow, slowed the game up. But we, mm. you know, it's up to us to to have an answer to that. It's up to Neil Collins to have the tactics to to be able to combat that because otherwise sides are going to look at that and go, "This is how we can beat Barnsley." This is how we can frustrate them. This is how we can, you know, limit limit what they can do is just sitting back. Because Blackpool did it quite successfully at home, beat us one 0 and it worked. They were off their off their usual game plan earlier on in the season. Uh, the Peterborough game were a lot better because, like like boxing, Styles make fights and Styles make matches. You know, Peterborough an attacking team. Barnes, you know, we like to or we, we have of late been playing more attacking football, so it lent itself to a better game. Same same with Port Vale. Um, and I just think Wigan just come to spoil, and they did. They got the tactics bang on, really, mm. without really threat. Like you said, it first half they had that clear chance early on, which he blazed yeah. on the bar, which he should have, he should have scored. But Devante also had a Devante call had a uh, it was a good move and a good header, and a, a keeper made a good save. Although left or, left or right at keeper, he's in, but again he got up well and keepers made a good save. So I don't think they were out in first half. You know, we got a got a good goal <clears throat> just at right time. Wasn't it? Good bit of work from McAtee, won it again, mm. you know, sliding in, getting ball, threading Phillips in, a good ball by Phillips and finished off by by Cole. So, mm. other than that, there weren't much in it. And it, it looked like, to be honest with you, after that, we were going to go for a for a comfortable win. We were saying it stands, if we get first goal, we'll go on and win it because we'll, they'll, they'll have to come out, they'll have to come out, you know, instead of sitting back for, for a draw, which it looked like they were doing. Mm. But that second half, man, oh, wow. Um, Big change, wasn't it? I mean, it I thought it got, worse than first. <laughs> it got slower, and there were too many mistakes. There were a lot of tired legs out there, um, you know. But all teams in EFL, all teams in League One, have had to play four games in ten days. You know, yep. we're going to play four games in ten days as well. Um, so you could see the tiredness out there. But for me, as we just discussed off air, then you know, I think the substitutions cost us, mate. It cost us in and. We'll yeah. get on about that in a minute. So substitutions, but at my miss squid just before half time, I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'll take that all day long. Probably come at right time. Might have altered team talk, but I expected this coming out of second half. Right, we're up for this like now. We can. We, we, you always thought we're going to come back. Mm. We're going to do fair play. We brought like a thousand yeah. thousand <clears throat> travelling yeah. fans on New Year's Day. Fair play to them. But again, like you just touched on there, we came out and we didn't really get out, out of traps. We again, it, it was frustrating to see quite a few players, if I'm being honest, have a few off off days. 
I yeah. think Luke Connell is, you know, he tried, he got man of the match, which <coughs> uh, my side of the country. Luke, Luke, Luke is my favourite player, mate, but he weren't man of the match. Man yeah. Well, when player. he got announced and the fans behind me were like, you're joking, mate, we've been watching, we must not have got a shirt I, sponsor. Yeah, I, I think they just put their hand in a bag and pick out a number for that man yeah. of the match thing. <laughs> yeah. I just, or, either, or the good I analysts. Like well. I thought they'd give me, he tried to show he took well, if I'm being honest. Uh, he did, they give me, they give me played well, mate. He's, he's, I think he's been a brilliant signing, you know. Yeah. I think, I think he's, a, he's, a, he's a solid player. Um, again, so like, yeah, going, going through the second half, I mean, he touched on it via, and I don't get it. Uh, we were off on a bad off air, and people said on social media, some substitutions cost us game. Uh, yeah. McAtee just stood back shot, just stopped at bar. Straight after, got subbed off, and I think Denny, what one trying to press down, literally straight after, and it it, it worked so much that it worked so much that it, with the audacity of the chance because it was such a tight angle and it was yeah. a great effort, but it with the effort he put in to get to that chance, he he, mm. he run that defender ragged and got in front of him from that from that ball over the top, mm. and it's his effort, and we don't seem to have you know we we brought Max Waters on for him. And he hadn't got twenty five percent the effort that McAtee puts in, and it, mm. it just made it, it made a massive difference. Certainly from an attacking standpoint, we weren't we weren't going to score another. We were mm. we just weren't. It were either whether we could hold on, and then once Wigan scored and equalised, which were coming for, you know, certainly second half at second half, certainly the last quarter of the game, it were coming, wasn't it? It was a matter of <laughs> setting, sit, sitting back to the deep, won't we? It was a matter of when, not if, and mm. and then it were from there. It was just a case if we could hold on for one all because we weren't scoring another goal. Mm. We I just mean, didn't, it just got it had all gone, mate. There, there were too many players yesterday that that didn't play well enough, nowhere near to where they can play, and then and then Collins just making the the substitution decisions. Like I say, it's, it's almost like he's got a set plan of who he's going to substitute for who. Mm. And he doesn't want to sort of deviate away from that plan. I, you know, as soon as I, as soon as I, you see McAtee go through like that, put that effort in and try it, you know, the audacity, the audacity to try that att- attempt that he did with class. I mean, it literally just dropped over bar. Mm. I just tell Max to sit, sit back down at least for another five, 10 minutes, see if he's got a else in him. Mm. But he didn't. He just took him off straight away. And you remember at Reading when he did it with Cole, when Cole had just slammed in that yeah. belter and he took him off straight after. Took him off. Like, yeah, he hadn't had a good game up to that point, but he just rattled a volley in from 25 yards. You yeah. know what I mean? He'll, he'll be buzzing. He'll be yeah. buzzing. So leave, leave him on. Just tell him to sit down. Give him at least another five, ten minutes or right. even longer if he picks up. So, mm. yeah, it weren't a good performance from from coach um, through with the 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 the, 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 the the majority of the team, really, you know, like I said, Luke Conn were off, Kane were really off. Um, oh, Keith, I thought he or oh, Keith were just making, yeah, just making errors. John Williams, William, Christ, gee, gee, you know, what I mean, I mean, that that mistake he made it second half, I'd have missed that. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. never know, yeah. Um, I thought you were in, and to be fair, from uh, the corner that the uh, that Wigan got. When it came in, it ref blew up for a foul. I've watched it back several times, and to be fair, I can't really see out. No, I can't really see out. Uh, online as well, a lot of people saying it were harsh. I, mm. Obviously, I couldn't see from Pontian, and I've not seen it. No, I couldn't but, see that. Yeah. But to be, you know, in end, it's it's sort of been happy to come away with a point from that game because we didn't mm. deserve anything from it. That would a that would a losing display. That Wigan should have Wigan should have put three or four past us really. I don't like. You know, would have been. I don't think from that performance you could have argued with that scoreline either. Really, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, we had opportunities to put it to bed at one 0 You know, we had opportunities to get that second goal. Certainly that one where we broke, where the Givney created the chance, knocked it into Kane, and then Kane's ball to Cadden were just it was too hard. You know, a bit pathetic mm-hmm. really. We had to, we had chances to finish it off, and, and and we didn't. And it's you know. Well, I think my substitutions as well. Is, away with point, aren't we? Yeah, I think my substitutions are well. You know, Jallo came on for um, Cole. Yeah, and I would have liked to have seen rather than Jallo be up front, I'd like to have seen him in that attacking midfield role because I think if it had brought on someone like Cosgrove, who wanted mm-hmm. much game time, so you'd have thought he'd have been fresh, fresh pair, fresh pair of legs because he hadn't, hadn't been brought on for the last couple of games. I thought if he'd have come on. It had been that kind of shit house kind of player. It had roughly took a bit. It really took better for someone like Jello to be running on, on onto it. We use his pace, but 
again, you know, you got Barry Cotter, put him out on right if you want to go back. But for me, for substitutions, it matters. It was like as if we're not playing out for a draw, but it made us more possession based, trying to keep ball. And we, we you know, we it, it's an up a lot of that while seeing. I'm thinking women's getting it and open it and we knobbed you up front, it's going back on us. So you're inviting it back on, you're shouting it, Ponty and probably East and all and that push out, get out. Yeah, get out. It's yeah. easier said than done, but when you're just lumping it, but nobody there for it, i.e., someone like a Cosgrove, to try and hold it up. And take pressure off, but it was coming straight back. And I know when Kyle went down on that run, and they, it, you know, he played it too far in front of him, and he, you know, and he went down injured. It was taking his time getting up. Luke O'Connell resulted in the free kick because Kyle went out of position. Yeah. And then from resulting free kick, I mean, he scored, scores a, a world of that kid, Smith, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. And I'm thinking well. all that was from of a playing ball. You know, not getting back in places and spaces. And again, it was, I don't know, it was frustrating to see because it was VFOT teching, but a mixture of players like being off form, substitutions definitely cost us. There's tactics after that. And it was too little, too late. Frustrating. <clears throat> yeah. Bad day at the office, mate. Is, is what it is. But, you know, I, th I think the positives to take out of the Christmas period is that we, we, we were unbeaten and mm -hmm. we're taking eight points from four games, which is an average of two points a game, which is which is good. You know what I mean? It is mm -hmm. it, 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 it's getting on for promotion form is that is, is two, two, averaging two points a game. So, you know, I suppose if you look at it as a bigger picture, it's not all that bad. I but think a lot of fans will look at the piece. Wasn't, wasn't great at all, was it? And, and you know, and I suppose the only positive to take out is that we'll come away with the point. Yeah. Um, and we, and we I, remained unbeaten through the Christmas period. So th there are some positives to take out of it. Um, I think a lot of fans will probably see the Peterborough game and yesterday's game, Wigan, obviously, on the, the possible points that we've dropped. Yeah. And it again, is true. Yeah, it yeah, likes to be defensive issues which we all know about and it comes full circle doesn't it we all know about where it's happening if you can sniff sorry if you can do away with them snip them in bud the defensive issues it just goes to show where we could be higher up in league couldn't it you know potentially yeah, another four points on top of his uh, points tally at this season but yeah it's frustrating but like what you all said you know unbeaten you you know, there's some games you'd been going to, you know, especially Peterborough. I just said I just could draw Peterborough, but I think it's the games that we've conceded and we've drawn, and you think, God, we could have had wins there. Mm. That's probably on the back of everybody's mind and all the, the points that we've potentially could have grasped hold of here, couldn't we? Yeah. A clean sheet's well over doing it. We keep we keep we do keep we do keep conceding. Good call. Yeah. Um yeah, good call. But yeah. 12-day break now, mate, which is, is probably going to be welcomed by everybody at the club, <laughs> mm. probably fans included. Um, yeah. have, have, have a 12-day break and get, you know, hopefully get, get some players get in. Rested <laughs> and, recovered. and hopefully, hopefully we can see a signing or two, mate, in that, in that, in that time. Yeah. I mean, just going off a uh, match review, we uh, just touch on it because we are in January, just touching on transfers, um, Ryan. I said to my son, and there were a few people at Ponty and all we saw, and we were on about Dodgson going back, you know, what he expected, maybe, because there were always rumours that saying that we could go back. But I, I'm, I'm surprising, you know, I'll get, I'll tell you what I think, but I'd like to be seeing, you know, the some of his business done early, not leaving it while, like, end of the month, and waking up yeah. but the morning after saying, oh, yeah, we've got job logs in, because we've got, I think, is it another five games, another six games in January alone? So if we can get back defensive units sorted out at back, pretty sharpish and early, and we don't want a player to be getting signed and saying, oh, yeah, he needs to another two or three weeks ball before his match fitness. It's, again, you want him to come in and more or less be involved straight away into into squad. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. That's what that's what it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be a, and it needs to be coming straight into squad, doesn't it? Really? It needs to be a first team, a first team standard player. Um mm. remember last year we got Bobby Thomas in quite early, didn't we? Mm. So hopefully we can replicate something along those. I think we we think we'll be struggling to find someone of Bobby Thomas's quality, but um, yeah. you know, well, we, we, we can only hope, mate. Um, yeah. But hopefully that gets done. That it, certainly for centre back. A any other ones we'll we'll, we'll take, but certainly for centre back, we we desperately need it one or two. Yeah. 
Because yeah. there's, there's rumour of Macart going back as well, isn't there? To Rotherham, because they're struggling for centre-backs, aren't they? Yeah, I saw rumours last night about mm-hmm. that and they weren't getting pressed on it. And I'm thinking, for me, I'd have to, I'd, I'd be wanting two centre-backs, at least two centre-backs. Yeah, it's, it's the risk that comes with taking loan players, isn't it? You know, the loan, player, the loan system works well for all clubs, you know, to mm-hmm. send out their players on loan. It's, we, we, we do it a lot with the younger lads and other teams do it and it works real well. But there's all this, that, you know, the other side of the coin where... If they need to go back, then the players, you know, they're, they're ultimately not our player. And if Rotherham are struggling for centre backs <laughs> yeah. and McCart's been playing regular, it makes sense for him to to, to call him back, doesn't it? So, yeah, true. So we'll have to see, mate. But I think I think we need we definitely need. Oh, we we obviously all know we need a centre back, but I think I think we need two really and two good good centre backs as well. Instead, it's shit. It's going to be an interesting January. Like I said, we've got 12, 13 days off. Like so. Again, all being well, players can get some uh, rest of it. Christmas period, if we can uh, chill out a bit, um, and we can uh, put some additions to the squad. Again, as it happens, it'll get announced, and we'll try and bring it to you. So, Jallo extended contract while twenty twenty seven. Dotson's yeah. gone back, so there's one stopping, one gone. It's still early doers, like, but all being well, it can be, you know, bring some news to Barnsley fans that can be positive and you know build on it. So that's going to be interesting to see as well. Uh, Ryan, be the tight. Appreciate you taking time out, mate. Getting your thoughts on the game. Uh, people watching back, like, subscribe, share. Always do. Love that. Let you know your thoughts and comments about the game. I can imagine what it's going to be if, if I'm looking on social, what it's going to be. But uh, yeah, I'd be interested to know your thoughts about the game uh, against Wigan. Um, a draw, were it two points dropped? Or, you know, were it lucky that we didn't lose the game? Always interested to know your thoughts. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>